let's uh, go into the Q&A and then we'll do the drawing during the Q&A. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Beardy, makes a great stocking stuff. That's true, it does. Jarky says, Wi-Fi moment for the cryptos when you can take your coins out of the blockchain so nobody could hack it. That'd be nice. <laughs> is the bottom in? No, the bottom is not in. I mean, I don't think so. Like, everybody said the bottom was in June. And I was like, I don't think, the I don't think it's in June. And the reasons that I thought it wasn't, the bottom wasn't in, was because of the macro environment and um, just the history of, of the crypto assets over the last four-year cycles. And that's what I thought, and I was wrong. We, the reason why the bottom wasn't in was because our industry is so delicate and we have so much fraud that is rampant and there is so much over leverage that that's why we collapse. So I was right in the assumption that the bottom wasn't in, but I was wrong for how we got there. So again, there's so many unknowns out there. The things that I don't know scare me, which is tremendous amount of stuff. So, I mean, if you know everything, that's cool. And you can say the bottom is in. Great. I just, there's just so many unknowns right now that I would say that uh, the bottom is not in. So that's it. And who knows? Genesis could, I mean, let's be honest. Let's say the worst case scenario. Let's say grayscale goes down. Grayscale goes down. A lot of things go down. And then, uh, of course, you won't even care about the bottom. You'll be like, wow, I just hope I things don't go like way, way below where I thought they were. You know, sub 10K Bitcoin, that type of thing. <laughs> Lefty says, I missed the beginning. What's the estimated bottom? There is no estimated bottom. How long to accumulate discounts? At least two years. Yeah, at least two years. But I could be wrong on that too. Again, this the video that uh, I talk about for why I'm selling, I don't put a specific time frame on it. I just take a look at data and especially uh, we take a look at uh, Pi cycle tops and MVRVZ scores and pull multiple. And we just take a look at when the, when the market gets overheated next. So it's very simple. I mean, like right now we're in like bargain territory. So at some point we're going to hit some super overheated prices and all these indicators will show you. Is that the top? Probably not. But if I get between 60 and 80% near the top and I sell, I'm pretty happy. And that's all I got to do. I don't got to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't really care. I just got to do these things. So I think that's, uh, that's how much time you have. Again, time could, time is irrelevant for, Accumulation. That's right. Nobody can time the bottom, but God. <laughs> Rob, do you have kids? I got kids. I got grandkids. Uh, sub 10K, Bitcoin. I think, I think Pat's right. <laughs> Bargain territory. I heard that before. Yeah, George, you're right. So let me let me preface it with this. And this is a pretty I'm glad George said that. Just because something is a bargain doesn't mean that bargain doesn't go down even more. So is would it behoove you to buy, to back up the truck and buy everything right now? I don't think so. I think you're, I, for me, I can't tell you what to do unless you're dead, but I can't tell you that this is the right time and that you should do these things. I can just tell you that I don't think the bottom is in. I still continue to micro DCA because I'm not for sure but I don't put heavy amounts into it. As the prices go down, then I start to increase my DCA and go from there. But I mean, how much do you really need, you know, in life? So for me, I'm just kind of just sitting around going, well, you know, did okay last time, sold a good amount of crypto, not as much as I should have, but whatever. I was able to put into some pretty nice assets, real estate mostly, and things are great. The thing is, is that, uh, you know, is this is going to happen this again? Not for sure. Arthur says, I don't think the bottom is in. I don't think the man. <laughs> Hector says, we're still going down, down, down. Hey, I wonder, you know, we never check. I used to always check the prices every day in the live streams. I never do anymore because I don't really, I just don't. 
Where are we at? Ah, oh, we're not doing too bad, actually. Let me show you. 16. Does anybody look at the price? I don't do as much. 60,000, 389. Ethereum's up 3%. BNB up 12%, probably because they're going to be the only exchange left. Them and Coinbase, who knows? Just kidding. There'll be more. Litecoin up 12%, 33% for the week. Sweet Mary and Joseph, that's pretty big. Eh, okay, B. Solana is up 13% for the day. Go figure. 10% for Leo, Cosmos. So yeah, pretty nice. It's actually looking pretty good for all the negativity. So let that be a lesson, right? For all the stuff, all the negative stuff that I talk about, Behind the scenes, we'll never know. We'll, you'll never know the deals that are being cut, the things that are being said, especially for the higher ups, especially when you get to, uh, to these big like Black Rocks and Fidelities and who knows what other things, people behind the scenes, you'll never, you'll never know. So how can you time those things? You can't. So yeah. <laughs> Hector says dead cat bounce. It could be. That's why I don't cost average. I don't like to play that game. I'm just not good at it. Uh, still bullish on Polygon? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm bullish on a lot of stuff. I just don't own any Litecoin. I know people will say, well, you should get some Litecoin. I'm not chasing. Don't ever chase. I never, if you believe in the tech and the people behind it, then, and you've held it for a while, congratulations. I'm just not you. Yeah. <laughs> Viking says Solana's last cycle was an overhyped SBF propped up project. that will be lucky to re ever reach its all time high again. Maybe. Uh, only time will tell. Oh, shoot. Let's do the drawing, huh? It's been way, way, way more time than I thought. And then I'll go, I'll talk to top five bullish coins. That's a good, uh, that's a good thumbnail and title for clickbaity stuff. So let's see here. Let's. All right. Let me bring this up. Let's Ross do some drawings. Okay. So here was the tweet. I'm going to take that and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to crypto Twitter ticker.com. And I'm going to load this, load the tweet. Hey, oh, there it is. So winner, not one, but two must follow add news asset let's see the profile must have a picture a description i don't care about location or banner i care less twitter account we'll say any the account age yeah one month latest tweet past month let's do that continue wow 95 entries slick let's do the drawing Begin the drawing, Thunderdome. That was fast. So, <laughs> Pwetty, Purple, and Nerdy. That's funny. And then Origin X at NFT. So, what I will do is I will follow Pwetty, Purple, and I will follow Origin X. So now, Ladies and gentlemen, you can contact me via DM. And uh, since I follow you, they'll go right to my inbox. Great. Thanks, everybody, for playing. That's it. Tony, I got to tell you, Tony was pretty ticked off that uh, he's in, in yesterday's video. And I was like, ooh, times are changing. Tony's ticked off. Tony was ticked off because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Tony, because uh, the uh, Ted Cruz had no audio because I screwed up. So, so Tony said, what a waste of time. Can't even hear Ted Cruz. I was like, man, if Tony, who is as even kilter, even, you know, even tempered as I am, times are changing. So that's why I did the thing. Well, that and everybody else was complaining. So makes sense. Crown. Crown has it rigged. Congrats to the winner. That's, see, that's how it goes. Congrats. Good job. <laughs> Jay, sorry, JT. I'll just buy one. I guess, you know, 50% off is pretty big, pretty big deal. Like it's, it's right now, they just started at 30% 30 
site wide, but then with the discount code, you get another twenty percent off from from me. Yeah, then on Twitter, <laughs> Crown came in to win the drawing. Ah, uh, Tyler, don't worry. We can't all be winners. Uh, I I should start uh, passing out participation awards. Tom Crown is around. I'm up. Hype, hype and ready to be here. Ben Gamin. Hey, Mim. Uh, I'm out on Seoul. Yeah, I still own some. Yeah, Jarky's got a good point because people always talk about Bitcoin going to a zero. And he says, one of the thing about if you take everybody that's died who owned Bitcoin, well, hopefully they pass it off to their family members, but the family members probably didn't believe it, believe about it then anyhow. And then, of course, all the different uh, wallets that are, I mean, how many wallets have you lost access to? I've lost access to a couple myself from screw-ups. So if you do that, I think there's been like an estimation of like 4.5 million Bitcoin are lost because people don't have access to their original wallets. Pretty ought to go to zero. They'll always be floating out there. Uh, J2 Day next giveaway, probably Friday. Probably give away a uh, ledger. Begin tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We'll see what happens. Chris says, question, Rob, with FTX, Celsius, Voyager 3, you've seen their leverage that was propping up prices. All now gone, you think it will be, now be very difficult to make all-time highs in the next bull run. My question is, this is, is, is this, I, I can see that point, but then with all the shenanigans that, uh, that was being done by FTX, not just propping up, but destroying companies behind the scenes, I wonder if we didn't have a blow off top correctly because of whatever FTX was doing behind the scenes. I know people will say, well, it was leveraged and it was propped up, but I'm like, I'm not 100% sure on that. So I still think, look, do you know the market cap of gold is roughly between 10 and $12 trillion? 10 and $12 trillion. You know the market cap? Well, do you know the market cap for, for Amazon is over $1 trillion? Also, Facebook's was over that at one point. And then, of course, the global real estate market is over $320 trillion. Derivatives is, is one quadrillion dollars. So if we have an asset class that is sitting at a roughly $834 billion, how could we not at least hit $3 trillion again, if not 6 8 or 10 as time goes on? I just, I just don't see it. It's a, it's, it's a low-cap market. Ah... Thank you. <laughs> Voyager request that I remove my three dollars and fifty cents on my platform. That's that's it. Uh, what else did I miss? Oh, Tom, what we what we gave away was a uh, it was a Bitcoin, one complete Bitcoin. So everybody's asking if you could do that on your channel, if you could give away one Bitcoin, and I said, of course, Tom would do that. Yeah, just kidding. It was a uh, stone book. It's uh, one of these books that we use to uh, to uh, hold all our mnemonic phrases. It's waterproof or water resistant and terror resistant. And uh, you can write things in, bl in blue ink and or in black light. And it's pretty cool. I got like four. It just keeps uh, everything organized. Instead of having pieces of paper where you lose your mnemonic phrase and lose 20,000 Cardano. Oh, that didn't happen to you either? Yeah, happened to me. <laughs> My channel is for sale. It's YouTube. Uh, let's see. DCA still Friday? No, we're going to skip DCA. Everybody's got family in, so maybe in a couple of weeks. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> yeah, Tom, I gave away a free dinner. Whoever won gets, gets a free dinner at, uh, uh, with Tom Crown, but he has to pay at the, at the nice place. Not like Denny's or anything like that. 
David Arnold says Seoul is going Seoul is going up. I think it's up 12 percent. Uh, Nate Lapena says, Tom, I've been trying to find out if you're the Tom that BitBoy's been yelling at. I think it is. I think Tom is a big believer in Litecoin. Rob, will you go to, to London and visit Guy? Yes. I did it last time. But I didn't, I, I, I went there for his, uh, for Coin Bureau's um, uh, expose or the, the the crypto conference that they did. We did it in April, I think it was. So yeah, I'll go back. Uh, we just talked last week, as a matter of fact, and uh, he's going to do one in Dubai. So he asked if I wanted to come to Dubai and, and talk over there. And I took a look at the flights and I was like, nope, I'm not going over there. It's like 18 hour flights, super expensive. I'm like, nah, it's okay. I'll, I'll catch up with you in London. Besides, I like the pubs over there. So, oh, that's why. So Tom is a big Litecoin fan. I was, I was, uh, the, I was the MC at the Litecoin Summit this year. There is your answer. All right, perfect. Litecoin whale. Yeah, guy moved to Dubai. <laughs> I see. I gotta tell you, I see guy in uh, Dubai on his on his pictures. He just looks miserable some days because it's so god awful hot. And he's from London, you know. I mean. I mean, if if you're from London and you came to El Paso, Texas, you would die. If you move from, go from London to Dubai, which is another level of, of heat, it's like just constant pain. But, uh, I mean, he seems to like it there, him and Macy. So, sure. I, just, I wouldn't. Uh, that's, uh, I feel sorry for him some days. Uh, and he says, Denny's is muy bien. La comida or lo servicio? The service is good. I don't know about the food. Oh, yeah, that's right. Taxes. I forget about that. All right, buddy. So I think that's it. I think it was um, in the next 30 or 40 minutes, uh, the Fed meeting notes are going to come out. So we're going to see uh, what's going to happen. But does anybody not think that we're going to get a basis points of between 50 and 75? The rate hike in December, I think it's December 2nd. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if that's the, if that's the point or if that's the point of the, of the meeting, sure. I mean, I just see 50, 75 points. That's it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Jay and Chow says, do you believe in the four-year cycle when the Bitcoin rainbow chart is off its trajectory? There's so many things off, the, off of the trajectory right now. There is no way DCG can raise $1.7 billion to Genesis to prevent bankruptcy. That's probably true, if that's how much they need. Bitcoin at 7 k looks imminent. Put limit order in. If you want to do limit orders, Tom's the guy to talk to about that. And it's all about your risk. I appreciate what Tom does. Mr. Crown, I just don't do the limit orders, although I like to put a bunch of money on there and sit it. I just don't. Um, it's a weird thing. I think uh, I still believe in the in the four-year cycles per se, but what I mostly believe in more so are these types of things. There's a website called Look Into Bitcoin. I, I talk, I don't talk about it as much as I used to, but it's a great site. It has nothing but a bunch of free uh charts that you can take a look at mostly for bitcoin and the things i'm looking at and again we talked about this in this video at length is the years could be wrong i could be wrong in the years i'm okay but if i just follow some basic stuff well i mean 200 week moving average is good enough but like the pi cycle indicator which retrospectively took a look at the at the tops of bitcoin i mean when things start to overheat that's a Great indicator to sell. Again, 60-80%. Here's the rainbow price chart indicator. And yeah, look at this. It's even below that. <laughs> that's how bad it is. So that's what you're talking about. Could it be? Sure. But I will say this. As long as we're in this range and we start to hit these orange orange levels, I'll sell at that point. Or well, the other one is uh, the Puel multiple. Again, we talked about this yesterday for Bitcoin miners. Again, you can find all these charts and it, and it gives you a description of what this thing does. 
And sometimes there's a video on it, but it's very simple. It's very simple because I'm a simpleton. I like colors. I like simple. So like when it's in the red, that's a good time to think about selling. When it's in the green, that's a good time to consider uh, accumulating. And again, if you would accumulate in this area here, what's the price here? $4,000 for Bitcoin, November 29, 2018. Or maybe maybe you mess that up and you, you buy it at, oh, a whopping, what? $4,000. Oh, no. You know, that was in 2018. All you had to do is wait. Let me do some math here. 19, 20, 20. Three years to hit 55,000 or even 40,000. You go to 10X, try doing that in the S&P 500. Again, well, multiple. There's another one I like to see is the MVRVZ score. Market cap versus realized, versus realized value. Again, the same thing. I like colors. So like uh, in the red part, this is when things get overheated. You know, so oh look at that one, December 2017. Probably a good time to sell, right? And then of course down here, or whatever the Bitcoin price was on 2015. I'm sure it was like pretty cheap. Here, here, here. It's, it's just, that's just the way to do it. It's, I mean, a way to do it for me. You can do whatever you want to. I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor. That's it. Hope that made sense. Ooh, Jarky. Put limit orders. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. You know, Tom in our discussion, he talked about, he got his limit order filled like four grand for Bitcoin. So just saying. Yeah, a bunch of free stuff. Everybody likes free stuff. <laughs> there is no rainbow V2 out. And... Kombucha. Come neck down. Said it right. Do you agree with the following statement? Crypto will bottom sometime between now and Q1 2023. Then when U.S. enters recession, it will create another opportunity with a WIC to 2020. I can't say I could agree with that. One thing that does concern me, and that is, and um, Stanley Druckenmiller talked about this. He believed that we're going to be in a 10-year-long dip bear market uh, with equities, just like how it was in late 1960s to uh, late 1970s. And he said, he goes, he lived through that, so he remembers that, that time. And I'm not for sure if that's how it's going to be. But even if we do during that time, there's always, there's always a, uh, a bear market rally in a bear market. So for me, I'm just like, I don't know if, it can, if it's going to bottom per se. I just know that if I just stick around and just kind of hang out, good things usually happen. Just got to take the time to do it. That's all. I mean, but it sounds, honestly, it makes sense. It sounds legitimate. But for me to say, yes, that it's, it's going to be in 2023, I'm not for sure. It could extend in 2024. Or hell, everything could be extended out even, even more so. Pumpkin. All right. So that's it, everybody. So thanks so much for stopping by. If you like today's video, give it a uh, thumbs up. I'll consider subscribing. What a great question to stop with. And uh, that is all. Again, if you're looking for the uh, stone book, links in the description, 50% off. Congratulations you. And that's all. All right, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. Happy Thanksgiving.